Ingo Barabas aus Egenhausen, Deutschland und unser Punktrichter Norbert Dürnberger aus Steyr. Und wenn die Glocke erklingt, hat dieser junge Mann aus Cottbus hier das Sagen, Jörg Milke. Scheduled for eight rounds this one. It is, let's be honest about it, not much more than a pot-boiling sort of fight for Pulev, just to keep him relatively active while he waits for that Klitschko opportunity. He is now the mandatory challenger to Klitschko's IBF version of the title, and so surely, surely at some stage this fight has got to happen. He was briefly put down a bit embarrassingly against Joey Abel, who he went on to batter in five rounds, Abel retired, and of course he was subsequently battered in similar fashion by Tyson Fury. But it wasn't a big knockdown, he was just sort of caught, caught square, wasn't he, Barry? And it was embarrassment more than anything else. Well, it was just a little flash knockdown, wasn't it? Nothing really time Abel had any sort of success, to be honest. Fellows, he's not one of those fighters who, who sets you alight, but he's, he's very workmanlike, isn't he? In, in, in sort of the same sort of mode as Povetkin. I, I, think think he, got, I think he beats Povetkin. Yeah, I think he got a bit more skill than Povetkin, but I mean, he, he keeps the pressure on you, doesn't do a load, of, a lot of work in the early stages, and then you, know, you get t he tires the big head with out quick and then goes to work. He was a good amateur. He just, he's not spectacular, but he's a good technician, and he's undefeated in 19 fights, enormously popular back home in Bulgaria, originally from Sofia, Perkovic from Croatia, he's a veteran of 43 fights, of which he's won 20. Has been stopped on nine occasions in those 23 defeats. And there's plenty of him, as Bunsi was saying. <laughs> I think Perkovic should be lucky if he lands a shot. I really do. He's lost five of his last six. And looking through his record, he has never had a victory against anyone remotely who you would call a, a name opponent he's sitting on the ropes it's good right hand from Pulev sitting on the ropes Pergovic trying to hoping that Pulev will sort of fall short with something but Pulev's very accurate he's not going to make any mistakes he's not going to lunge in at all Pulev will just wait for his opportunity, and when that opportunity comes, I think it's going to be curtains in uh, fairly fast time. I guess that's Pergovic's best chances in anything. Well, just, his weight. just trying to rush, just trying to rush at yeah, his weight obviously one thing, but it's just trying to rush at Pulev I guess. I can't see any way how he, how he, he causes Pulev any sort of problems. Certainly not with his back on the ropes. Well despite the fact that he was uh, slightly embarrassingly toppled over by Joey Abel in his last fight, Pulev, he has got a terrific chin. Apart from that, as far as I know, he's never been down as an amateur or a pro in any other fight. But he's solid, isn't he? He's six foot four, but he doesn't look at this. He looks but he's so thick set. He looks for me, he always looks a little bit smaller than than what he actually is, in height wise. Could have made a decent rugby player. I think his grandfather is Welsh. <laughs> Pulev fans making their presence known. And he's won the first round fairly comfortably. In fact, very comfortably. He didn't really have to, didn't have to take anything, did he? No, and that's a typical Pulev round, isn't it? He doesn't do a lot of work himself, but he always keeps you on the back foot. He's always in front of you, but never quite in range. My German's not too good, but you get the message. Bang, bang, bang on the jab and then bring the right hand in. And he does that, doesn't he, Pulev? He peppers you with the jab, frustrates you, hoping that you make, you make a mistake when you try and lunge him with a shot. Then, then, then he gets you, and you're open. Well, the voice could be off a different people in the corner. Oh, brother now, having a word, the uh, big young lad having a word over the ropes. Oh. 
second of the eight rounds. Highly world ranked Kubat Pulev against a man who uh, well, I think he must be fairly surprised that he's in there tonight. I don't know what he'd been planning to do with his Saturday night, but I'm sure he hadn't uh, a couple of weeks ago thought that he was going to be fighting Kubrat Pula. I give his credit, he's a late, he's, no, he's, he's, a, he's a late opponent, he's coming at late notice, and you've got to give him a little bit of, a little bit of credit for taking a fight against a world class, class heavyweight. Good jab there from Pulev. Well, otherwise, we don't get to see Pulev, he doesn't fight, you know, you've got to oh, keep that's true. busy. That's true. Trouble getting him a decent opponent this week. And we can criticise it if Pergovic was, was the opponent for you know, that was announced two months ago. Then we think we could be really critical and say it's disgusting, but you no, know, he's coming up late notice and he's, and he's helped save the show, I guess. And he might still cause a shock. Well, as they say, it only takes one. I can't see it to be honest. But it was just one there on Pulev, and that's right hand. Oh, that was a hit. Haymaker there from Perkovic. He'd be rewriting the rankings if he did suddenly <laughs> find something on Pulev's chin. Just took a few shots there off Pulev, he didn't like it. Perkovic, all of a sudden breathing heavy. Pulev, he's right on you, isn't he? And then once you make the move, it's a little half a step back. Always keeps the pressure with his feet, always keeps you, keeps you guessing what he's going to do. Box Nation colleague Steve Lillis sitting at ringside in his best suit alongside Ron Lewis of the Times. Hand, left hand straight punches there from Pulev. Get up the pace in the next round, Pulev. You can see it already, already just slowly increasing the intensity in his work. Not much. He's a safety first sort of fight, but he fights on the front foot that way. And in the next round, now I think he'll just be, he'll, he'll be looking for the stoppage, I'm sure. It's just a matter of time before that big right hand connects. Another round which he wins extremely comfortably. Nothing much coming back. One sided. Stadhaller still filling up. Main events yet to come. Enzo Macronelli, Jurgen Bremer, WBA Light Heavyweight World Championship. He's feeling the pace. It's not the fancy footwork. <laughs> it's the pressure that Puller puts on. He got it with Tony Thompson to an extent. But the pressure didn't. He lost the first three rounds against Thompson. Good right hand there. He throws, he throws those three straight punches, doesn't he? That's, that's the sort of a signature move for Puller. He did it with Tony Thompson. He lost the three first, first three rounds, but he put Tom, so much pressure. But Thompson was struggling for pace after that. Third round of this eight rounder then. Kubrick Pula. Is he going to get his man out of there now in this round? Just to pack away with that jab, not too many body shots in Pulev. No, he, he won't take any silly risk though, Pulev. I, you know, I think he's that sort of fighter. He's, he's almost a, he's a safety, even if he fights on the front foot, he's a safety first fighter.
Perkovic just can't get a punch again. That's a good right hand there from Pelev. He hasn't landed one decent shot so far in this fight. And he's breathing very heavy. I think he's just about spent. It's just a question of whether or not he's going to gamble and throw and throw a big one or two big shots before the inevitable comes. Yeah, they go for it there, John. And he's starting to get busted up. That's the jab which has done that. Well, Gary Cornish is probably going to be watching somewhere and saying, I got this fella out of there in three rounds in November. Oh, lovely right hand through the guard there. I said, Perkins, he's I done. said he's quit, I think. I thought he was shaking his hand to say he didn't want any more. Maybe just shaking his head to say, you've not really hurt me. Who left turning his head away, not wanting to run the danger of getting cut. Sort of brought Perkins to life a little bit. Look at this. It was a good right hand though that, that put left landed right through the guard of Perkovic. Perkovic has flung a few haymakers. Good body shot. He felt that. I think it's just about over this, Barry. Another big right hand to the body. Referee's having a look. Again, Pulev turning away to make sure he doesn't run the risk of picking up any cuts in that close quarters maul, which was initiated by Perkovic. To Perkovic again, to Perkovic's credit, he's getting beat up a little bit, but he's having a little go, isn't he? Once he gets, uh, once he gets hurt, once he gets hurt, he sort of throws that big haymaker. She's not chanting. She's not shouting for Perkovic. She's a Pulev fan with the Bulgarian flag. Well, he spat his gum shield out at the end of that round. I don't know if he's had enough. Didn't take it back to the corner with it. He looked like he was having a quit a few times, didn't he? So he sort of waved it off. I think he might have waved it off. I think, he's, I think he's had enough. Yep, I think he's been retired. Well, maybe not. Three rounds all by a huge margin to Pula. He's a big old unit. Is he going out for a bit more? No, he's not. It is all over. He has said enough is enough. <laughs> and he gave it a go and Pulev's got a nice smile on his face and he's not really banged him up too badly, has he? I think if, uh, you know, he'd have, if he'd gone in there and absolutely slaughtered him, people would have said, well, what on earth was he, was he doing in there against Pulev? And Pulev, realising what was against him, just did enough. Yeah, it was that right hand early in the row, wasn't it? We're right through the guard of Pergovic and He um, nearly quit there. Yeah, he felt it. He heard he sort of shaking his head hands there, wasn't he? And he took a body shot and I looked at the as well. He's just spent he was, he was just knackered. He beat up a little bit, not too heavy. But you know what Puller fights he, he, he increasing the intensity in every round, so with the fourth round would have been a, a bit of a tolerant round there for Pergovic, so we can't blame him for wanting to quit. I think he's good, Kubrat Puller. I know uh, if Tyson Fury were watching, he'd be saying, ah, he's nothing special, I'd go out there and bang him out, he's not big enough and I'd find the, I'd have the skills to cope with him, but he, he doesn't do anything badly. He, he's very, very good, and he's, I think he's going to be extremely hard to beat. The only thing is, though, he, he, he's not good for the heavyweight division, because well, he's, he's, he's not sexy. Well, Deontay Wilder... The, the, captures the imagination of the, of the public but it doesn't quite do that well in a moment or two we'll get confirmation of the results wants to nice to get the gloves off Ivica Perkovic Die Cobra, Cobra, Hulev!
it was what it was. We did tell you beforehand it wasn't going to be a great fight. Kubrat Pulev just doing enough, winning very, very easily indeed. And he just keeps the undefeated record going.